over here, and this is HGS Kesky here back with some more Bronze League Heroes. Now, we have a lot to talk about, guys, and we are going to get right into that. But first, I do have to introduce the stars of this episode. It is going to be our two players down in the bottom right side. It is going to be RRAI's Mace, world-renowned Mace right there, and his opponent down in the bottom left side utilizing the new little logos that you can add in it is gonna be jero man now uh we have a lot to cover of course as bronze league heroes we cast the very best of the very worst but i want to have a conversation with you guys as this game gets underway I actually know absolutely nothing about this game whatsoever. Sometimes Invicta will be like, yeah, I kind of like this game because the players do something funny. Uh, I've been so sick for two weeks that, uh, number one, I have no idea what happened to this game whatsoever at all. <coughs> There's a cop right there just to prove it. But uh, for those of you who do not follow me on Twitter, uh, I I've been posting there most days. I haven't the last few days, but uh, most days I've been updating you guys. I've actually been extremely sick. For over two weeks now, now in four years of doing StarCraft, uh, maybe more than four years at this point, I don't, I don't know the exact day that I started StarCraft, but uh, in about four years of doing YouTube slash StarCraft, I have never taken a break this long. This has by far been the longest break I've taken from making videos, and uh, have I lost my passion? Do I not want to play StarCraft anymore? Hell no! Uh, what Basically what I had is a major sinus infection that was so bad it was to the point where i could not talk uh just just the act of talking would send me into like a horrible coughing fit and uh, i'd be coughing for the entire day so i basically was resting up a lot i uh, i went to go see the doctor and they're like yep you have a major sinus infection and i'm currently on antibiotics and also my my sinus infection was so bad that just, uh, I was coughing so much that I actually tore a rib muscle. Let me repeat that. I was coughing so much for my sinus infection that I tore a rib muscle. Now, is it because I'm completely out of shape, or is it because I was actually coughing so hard that I almost died? Well, I'll let you be the judge of that, but uh, I was in excruciating pain. My, uh, my, my family doctor basically said, you know, I tore a rib muscle one time from coughing so much, and it was the most painful thing I think I've ever experienced. So uh, I was not making up <coughs> more coughs. I was not making up the fact that I'm super sick. But uh, as you can tell, I'm still recovering a little bit. So all this casting and all that, it does still make me cough a little bit. So if my commentary uh, involves more coughing, please just, uh, just give me a pass this week, as it has been a rough week indeed. But uh, couldn't be more excited for Bronze League Heroes. I'm glad to be kind of back on the horse. And I do apologize. In all honesty, I do apologize for not being able to make as much content as I would like to. But, I mean, there was literally physically no way that I could do it. And uh, my doctor said, you need to focus on getting better. And, oh, looks like the uh, Reaper right there going to go ahead and try and take out some pros. But uh, my doctor was saying, you need to focus on getting better. Make sure you take, you know, all your medicine correctly. She gave me some pain meds. She gave me uh, some antibiotics. She gave me some uh, some really good medicine for cutting down on the cough. And, whoa, what are these, what are these pylons doing over here? Uh, not even trying to hide them whatsoever. I don't even think... Uh, we're nowhere near warp gate being done. The uh, the gateways are only about, uh, a I guess, is that like a quarter of the way done over here? Those are going to be done time. SCVs are pulled off the line, although uh, Jero Man decides not to actually make any units. Instead, he's going to go ahead and go for the command center. He went for a Reaper expand, but the problem is that the Reaper's not actually denying anything at all. More Marines are going to be on the way. This map is really good for fast expanding because you do have the base in, uh, in the back side of your main base and some of the things i want to talk about i'll get to in a second is this game is apparently right underway <coughs> oh sorry sorry the cops are going to continue but for now it is going to be two zealots warping in those scbs their time is very limited keep in mind that even if they kill off this pylon there is another pylon on the low ground a couple marines here they are going to be able to start engaging these zealots but honestly bronze league zealots versus bronze league marines usually the zealots are going to end up winning however there is going to be a bunker over here that the marines can safely hide out in protect those SCVs. The Zealots, though, still going to be a nuisance throughout this game. But uh, continue to warp in units here. Also, the Martian Corps now 
floating all the way across the map to go ahead and begin putting on this pressure as the uh, the SMEs right now. Uh-oh, they do get Time Warp in the face there. Mushroom 4 going to be able to chase them down. Same thing with the Zealots here. As the SCVs, I mean, he's not mining really anywhere. Just a little bit at the expansion with two SCVs. So he can try and make Marines here, but he needs so many Marines actually to be able to clean this up. And you got to remember that uh, our Protoss player is back at home mining this entire time. As he does have uh, a lot of income here. 600, almost 700 there to 80. It does like the SCVs, though. Going to go ahead and plot line, possibly running all the way across the map. I don't think they'd be able to win in a straight-on battle, as there is 21 probes to only 16 SCVs, and more pylons going to be coming on up. Jeroman trying to figure out exactly how to deal with this. The SCV is going to be able to move out all the way across the map, I suppose. Command Center not really going to be finding a nice place to land, but here come the SCVs right now. This is definitely some Bronze League-esque play right now. He's just going to try and end it with his pure SCV army. Can he actually do the probes right now? Not engaging directly or immediately. So it looks like the probes might actually get taken out here. He's all of a sudden evened up the amount of workers that are currently in this game. The SCVs just drilling uh, the workers. I guess there's really no better term for it, as he's going to actually be able to kill off uh, all of the probes here. I think that uh, Mace here not really paying attention to his base of their he does have enough money to recreate those probes uh, should he desire it. And it does look like the Zealots right now are going to engage here. Uh, this is like the worst game for me to cast while I'm sick. There's actually so much action for uh, for a Bronze League Heroes here as it is going to be a very heavy micro-intensive game which anytime there's Bronze League players that is always hilarious to see and highly entertaining. Of course, we cast the very best of the very worst which is why these games are oh so good. Looks like this pylon might get taken out which would leave the other one susceptible to being attacked. Well, Marines managing to actually kill off one Stalker there. It does look like this barracks has barely burned into the red so it's going to slowly start to burn down until it dies and the bunker over here uh, can maybe kill off a unit or two I don't know how long and safe these units actually are it does like this command so are going to be taking the fourth base of mace as it does also look like this pylon right now is going to go down it's going to unpower everything not that it really matters because uh, there's only the one probe left I believe on the entire well actually there's three there's one over here as apparently there's a hangout party up in the top right there's the probe down there that we just saw and also one in the main base over here but the main problem is that if he loses this nexus he cannot recreate anything he's only going to have the last few units on the field now right now uh mace look at his army supply 28 to 2 28 to 2 so he's got to try and win with a huge army lead but uh, at the same time he's also running out of buildings of his own <coughs> hey I i'm allowed to cough all right science infection guys now uh, as this game is getting underway i do want to mention the new feature that they recently added to the game is that you can add your own custom little image here that kind of floats outside of your buildings. Uh, I highly recommend doing this. You can do it. I believe it's the clans that can do it, which is uh, which is pretty cool. Sirius is apparently his clan there, and it does have that one. Is that from Star Wars? I think it's from Star Wars. I'm, I'm super noob, guys. Forgive me. But uh, either way, those are really, really fun to see. I highly recommend doing that. And honestly, it makes the game a little bit more customizable, a little bit more funny, as there are a lot of really funny ones that you can actually see. But uh, speaking of seeing funny things, this game right now, Mace is unable to create anything. He can't make a pylon. He can't make a geyser. He can't make anything other than uh, a lot of APM, I guess. And there's going to be the probe right there. That probe will escape for now as this army is going to go ahead and chase it down. But at this point, it basically turns into a macro. Uh, no, 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 not a macro. The opposite of macro. It turns into a micro battle as uh, it's basically what you see is what you get. Although there is a base down here, which uh, Jero Man is trying to build up his uh, economy once again. He does have a barracks on the way, but uh, keep in mind that he did lose the majority of his barracks here. Now, at this point, uh, for, for Mace, the best thing he can look forward to is going to be a stalemate. Why do I say that? Because on StarCraft 2, there's always places you can lift your buildings that stalkers can't reach. And uh, at this point, if Jeroman decides to force it into a stalemate, that is a possibility. As we do have the SCVs though, slowly drilling their way to victory over here in the bottom right side, is going to be able to kill off the rest of this base. Can really just tell the SCVs to go to town individually and uh, just have them all attacking something. So it's going to die at about the same rate. But uh, at this point, the space down here is actually looking pretty good. We do have another bunker going to be on the way. This army still does have a moment or two where it could attack down right here and be able to kill off that army. But at the same time, he thinks that this is the last that he has to offer because that is all he sees on the map. He sees all these SCVs. He sees the fact that uh, there is a couple of buildings down here. 
but what he does not see is the fact that there is a base down here, which is slowly going to be building its way up as Jero Man looks to be good chase. The probe there does manage to find it. This bunker uh, probably probably want to kill that bunker. I mean, you're there anyway. Might as well kill it. But at the same time, he wants to get over there before this base gets a little too out of control. These mules just seemingly not running out. As uh, they're going to be mining away like crazy over there. And we do have Mace just going to be continuing to kill off this base. It does take a while for workers to uh, to actually be able to kill that off. And Jeroman says GG. Mace saying this has been a good game. It's not over quite yet, though. <coughs> just like my coughing is not over quite yet. But uh, does look like going to go ahead and move on down to this base. And uh, can he kill off this bunker? I'm honestly not sure. There is a lot of Zelts here, but the SCV is being pulled off right at the perfect time. The Zelts trying to go for the SCVs. Does that end up being the correct choice or not? Looks like either way the bunker is going to go down. Marines get taken out as well. But again, it is not over just yet. He could continue to build more Marines. He has his bunker over here. The SCV trying to repair it. Should be able to kill off a couple of Zealots here. Uh, does manage to at least get one. But again, Bronze League Zealots versus Bronze League Marines. Usually the Zealots are going to win. But there's not a whole lot left for either player here. More Marines are on the way. And he is producing three at a time. If he rallies them over here to the high ground, he could make his last stand up on the hill. He would be kind of trapped, though, just like this SCV is. As we do have the Zealots going to be slicing away at these buildings. More Marines on the way. And actually, the Command Center could easily float over here. And that would take a while for the Army to actually find it. For now, it looks like he may be floating over there, though. And is this game actually going to continue? Because sure, this base died, but it's 16 supply to 18 right now. Oh, my God. Imagine you put the Marines back there. Would have been able to cough the Zealots. It does look like one Zealot is going to go down. Uh, do any more, though. It looks like so far the answer is no. But you got to remember that our, our, our Terra player can actually make stuff while Protoss cannot. So even though it can be a stalemate, uh, I guess the Protoss player keeps chasing him around. Although we do see the pylon here, which is going to be spotting this Orbital Command as well. So he's going to know exactly where that building is at and where the possible mules are. He might just want to drop the mules anyway, even though the pylon has spotted it. Just try and get a little bit more money. Uh, and there are still SCVs on the map. I mean, it wouldn't be that far of a stretch to say, hey, take one of these SCVs, expand, you know, right Right here and then have a base over here and kind of stretch that army too thin but uh, you never know exactly what's going to be happening in Bronze League Heroes and also base races are very common. I think that's uh I, well, I know that I have a lot of Bronze League player friends and they all tell me that uh, base races are quite common in, uh, in Bronze League. The poor probe up here unable to make anything but I, I just kind of feel bad for this Protoss army. Four Zealots and two Stalkers. But I got to say, the resiliency, resiliency of Jeroman, he has been uh, basically behind for a very long time. Is still technically behind. He's only got 13 supply uh, and is supply blocked. But uh, could go ahead and throw down, you know, supply depots or something like that. But he decides to make another command center. Is actually going to be putting this down in a really, really good spot as well. But this army's going to go ahead and move its way all the way across the map. But at this point, I mean, it just becomes kind of like a whack mole game where Mace just doesn't have enough hammers. He can't keep whacking those moles as he's unable to chase it around completely and it just is going to get repaired every single time. Does look at the mules will get taken out but they basically have timed out anyway and uh, are there any stalkers remaining? Where are those guys at? Looks like they're over here trying to round up any uh, any workers that they can, possibly any buildings as well. The barracks floating around the command center doing the same. I gotta say guys, this is how you should play in Bronze League. If, uh, if you find yourself losing just try and uh, wait, wait. Where did wait? No, he still has the five minerals there. As a Jero man saying money, and Mace actually being really nice and saying, "Nope, this is all I've got here." And it's not actually a draw if he can keep uh, keep making units over there. But are we going to be seeing a draw? Uh, for the first time ever in Bronze League Heroes. That is actually a good question, although he is still building over here. And he has to realize, like, just start building barracks uh, everywhere. And that'll be that'll be enough. And haha, uh, ha, have to be one. Uh, play. Uh, I, I, don't, I don't know what that means. But either way, got to make sure to just keep making stuff. The probe over here is trying to scout around, see where the uh, the, the the new base could possibly be. But for now, they're going to go ahead and go for the barracks right there. They're there is this orbital command which you could easily use, even if he's long distance mining. I mean, there's lots of things you can do here. And barracks are going to be on the way. And this is a never give up, never surrender type situation for both of these players. I don't know if this base is going to be scouted or not, but he's got the money, he's got the income, he's got uh, soon ish to be the infrastructure. But we'll see if Mace can actually find this base in time, which uh, currently these stalkers kind of taking a break on the job. I'm not sure if this is a good time for them to be on a break. But uh, either way, we shall see if those stalkers end up finding that base or not. 
but uh, when we both stop move, I hate hide and seek. It's a draw. Uh, it's basically if no units take damage, if no units deal damage. Uh, no, I think it's just take damage, and no units have been constructed, and no minerals have been mined. But this isn't actually going to be a draw. I think that uh, I think that Joe Man might actually have this. Maybe it's part of his uh, mind games. And wait, the Sogers are showing up at literally the absolute last second they possibly could to still be able to kill us off. There's going to be the SCVs. They're trying to chase it down, and uh, they could just be set to auto repair. And I think never actually end up dying just because there's so many of them. And uh, he's saying, I can win, but can he actually make enough Marines right now? <coughs> we are about to find out. As uh, the three Marines got to be spotted right now. The SMEs pulled off the line as well. The Zealots are going to be trapped. The Marines not lasting all that long. But at the same time, uh, Jeroman's got the lift off again. Oh my god, by some grace of a miracle, it looks like Mace might actually be able to cut off this base as well. But there is also the Command Center over here, which kind of needs to float down there or float across the map or something. Or maybe just make like two Marauders. But for now, he the, the, the base race continues, so to say, as the, the, the base is racing all the way across the map. So I guess this is kind of a, a good representation of my last two weeks where it's like, all right, I've won, I've gotten better. And then the infection comes back and I, I just feel horrible and I have to get reset. And then every time I try and start my day again, I, I'm blowing just green boogers all day. It was, it was pretty gross, guys. It was probably the grossest state I've ever been in, and uh, I did not want to. I did not want to subject you guys to that. Trust me, I was doing you guys a favor. But it doesn't look like the barracks have landed here. Are the Marines actually going to be able to uh, safely kill the Zealots? Uh, well, nope, not really. Might be able to do a little bit more damage here, but it's not enough. As that Zealot is going to survive, more Marines are going to be on the way. And this is why I love Bronze League Heroes: is players trying to figure out how to win with what little they've got. And uh, so far, it looks like these barracks will get taken out. Another Marine has got a spawn. He's not going to be able to cough that Zealot, though. Unless, unless the Zealot decides to randomly micro for no reason. And that's exactly what happened there. The Marine gets very, very lucky. So now supplies are 12 to 4. And unfortunately, these Zealots can't really follow everything around because there's more buildings, I believe, than actual units on the field. Yes, there are. This command center right there is not going to be able to land. It does look like Jeroman kind of giving a good laugh. <coughs> ah! More coughing, but that's okay. That's okay. Uh, also, I want to thank everyone for all the kind wishes on Twitter and Facebook and on my videos and all that. Seriously, like hundreds of you are wishing me well. So definitely appreciate that. You guys are the best. Just look at that probe's going to go down. That is another casualty for Team Red. And the Stalker doesn't really have anywhere to run as the Orbital Command there is once again going to tuck itself away. This one's going to do that as well. And honestly, I don't really know what happens next. I mean, there's no island expansions that you can safely take as Terran. And uh, the, the, the map vision of, of Mace has actually been surprisingly good, all things considered. But at this point, this orbital could easily land here, begin long distance mining. But uh, for now, we're just going to go ahead and speed up this game as I don't know when this is going to end at all. As uh, it's been kind of one of the silliest base races I think I've ever seen. It does look like it uh, doesn't have to end like this. As a uh, haha, -ha, sorry. We'll see if he actually manages to pull it back together. I mean, he can. That's the thing is, a lot of times when you're playing these Bronze League games, you don't realize that you can actually win. And uh, well, I hope that he doesn't give up. He does have tons of Marines over here now, finally. Those may be the nail in the coffin. And finally, some SCVs long distance fine. He could even drop some mules here if he wanted to. May saying, you will win. You got a CC. Jeroman is pretty happy about it. But I got to say, you know, these units for uh, for Mace have quite paid for themselves. Uh, 14 kills on that Stalker. The other Stalker is at 9. Even the Zealots break in lots of kills. There's a 6 kill Zealot and a 10 kill Zealot and another 10 kill Zealot there. So very nicely played by him. But that's got to be, I think these Marines are going to be the nail in the coffin, which is thrown onto the camel's back, which ended up breaking the camel's back. And uh, it's the, the, the brick that tipped the building. It is the burger that made you so full you threw up. It is the uh, the bee that you know that was in your house that made you move out and burn the place down. I don't know. I don't know. But either way, this is going to be it, I think. And uh, honestly, a very hilarious game. It's going to be a little anticlimactic, but the buildup was good enough for me. And again, I mostly just want to make this video to let you guys know I've been sick for two weeks. I am on the upswing and uh, I, I should be much better soon. So thank you for the support. My apologies for not making as many videos as I would like or making any videos really. But God, sinus infections suck so bad. God, I just, I, I don't know, it was pretty bad. But uh, big thanks to my doctor as well for prescribing me like the best meds on the planet. That was awesome. I'm a big fan of science and a big fan of Bronze League Heroes. 
No, it wasn't. I suck. But uh, either way, tons and tons of fun there. I hope you guys enjoy. And of course, well, I guess they're they're still talking. <coughs> he's saying, hey, go kill my pylon. He's going out like a man. He's not going to leave the game. And uh, he was rank one in bronze. Love you. And uh, there we go. That's going to be that. Hope you guys enjoy. And of course, I'll see you guys next time. Hopefully, I don't get swine flu or something. Uh, no fun there, but uh, hopefully back on the upswing, guys. All right, hope you guys enjoy, and of course, I'll see you guys next time.